In this video, I want to show how to use your Windows computer inside of Apple Vision Pro. So what's cool is we're going to download an app called Sunshine on our computer, on the Windows computer, and that's going to be able to talk to an app called Moonlight, and that we're going to download on Apple Vision Pro. So I'm going to kind of demonstrate this step by step and kind of walk us through. So here, here I am on a Windows computer, okay, and I'm going to go ahead and go to the internet down here and let's see there we go um and i want to give a shout out to a drop infinity okay for um on reddit that kind of has a step-by-step -step guide i'll put a link to that below and um but i'm going to kind of take it one step further and show you exactly how to do it okay because i feel like sometimes when it's written it can be kind of intimidating but i feel like i'm just going to show you exactly what to click on so what i'm going to start with is uh at GitHub, Lizardbyte um, is the company that has the app called Sunshine. So, and again, I'll, I'll put a link to this below. You can see that there's looks like there's a lot of different ones here, and I'm going to look for the one called Sunshine Windows. Uh, it might be called something slightly differently, something different uh, by the time you get to it, but I feel like this is the one I want right here. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. I can see it's installing, or it's um, downloading and if I open this up okay if I double click on it I'll hit yes and next I agree I can see it's uh, saving in the C drive that's good I'll click next next install okay great uh, it's already installed now I'm going to go to a um, a particular website. Actually, I'm going to close this and I'm going to hit finish. Okay, and if I come here, I'm going to go to I'm just going to go to a new tab here, and I'm going to go to a particular website. And it's I mean I, I guess I should say a URL. It's not really a website. So I'm going to do eight https colon slash slash local host colon four seven nine nine zero okay and then hit enter now it's going to say your connection is not private this is pretty scary okay so i'm going to click advanced then it gets even scarier and then says hey proceed what to a local host unsafe okay i'm going to click on that and now I'm in. So now you're probably thinking I lost my mind. What the heck am I doing here? Well, so basically this local host, this number, um, it's not optional. It's kind of what Sunshine has defaulted as the, uh, I'm going to say the default uh, monitors interface connection. I, I, again, I know that sounds kind of confusing, but just kind of go with it. It'll make more sense as we progress through. So I'm just going to create a username password and then I'm going to click login and it's probably going to ask me to log in again okay and it says it'll reload soon yep there it is now I'm going to put in my credentials again that I just put in Okay, cool. Now that's it. Um, I'm not quite sure how to whoop. help you with that. So what I want to do is I want to save this because I'm going to constantly be needing to kind of access this. So I'm in Chrome. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to say bookmarks. I'm going to say bookmark this tab. And I'm going to say on the bookmark bar. And I'm going to call this um, monitor uh, one. Okay, done. So now you can see that I have monitor one tab. So if I click on that, it's going to go to this, um, you know, this address, and now I can access the stuff for monitor one. Of course, if I have a second monitor, and again, I've got a video on how to do that, it's going to have a different host, local host 
address and I'm going to save that as well. The other thing I want to draw our attention to is pin right here. When I enter Apple Vision Pro for the first time, it's going to say, hey, we need to pair it with your computer. And that is the only thing I want you to focus on now. You can see they have a lot of other stuff here. Um, I can see if I click on application. This is what we'll see when we're enter in Apple Vision Pro. It says desktop and Steam, big picture. Uh, don't worry about this one, this is for gaming. I just wanna see the desktop, but you can see that that's where these applications are. But again, I'm just going to stay on pin right here, okay? Um, now, I'll go ahead and enter Apple Vision Pro and finish this process. Once I enter Apple Vision Pro, I'm gonna download Moonlight. So I'm gonna do that by going to the App Store, going to the search, and then searching Moonlight. You can see what it looks like there. I'll go ahead and open it up. This is what it'll look like, and you can see it automatically detected my computers. Uh, the one that I was working on was called MSI. That's just the name of the computer. 4080 Super, that's just the name of another computer that I have. Um, and you can see add host manually. I'm gonna click on MSI, because that's the computer that I was working on. And when I click on it, it's going to ask for a pin. There's the pin, and I need to put that pin on the computer. So that's why I left it at the pin screen. So I can see the pin is 4844. I'm gonna go back to reality. I'm gonna look in here, and I'm gonna go ahead and type in that pin. And then I'm gonna click send, and then it should pair. Okay, cool, now it paired. And that's the default screen that I was talking about before with desktop and Steam. I want to click on desktop. And now, voila, we are connected to our computer. We can see it inside of Apple Vision Pro. I'm just going to go ahead and close this. And there it is. Okay, I can see my computer screen, Windows screen inside of Apple Vision Pro native environment and I can make this screen as big as I want. Um, you can see there, I can work on my computer. I just, I have access, I'm touching my physical keyboard and mouse, and there's really zero latency on it. It's really nice. I can make it as big as I want. I can position it all around. And then I could also launch native apps. Okay, so if I want my mail or you know music or whatever I want, I could have multiple Safari tabs. I could have my TV. Um, there. So again, really cool working environment that we are actually working natively on Windows inside of Apple Vision Pro. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below.